channel. Hope everyone's having a beautiful day. We're doing some Tundra mods, amazing Tundra mods. We are gonna be installing, I'm gonna show you guys how to install a Rock Warrior blacked out OEM, OEM Toyota part that matches the factory paint, because it's a factory part, uh, on my Chrome 2007 Tundra. So the Rock Warrior is like the pre-TRD, it looks amazing. You get it paint matched in any color that your truck was. So if your truck was the white, probably absolute white or whatever the color it was, you get a white one. If you got a red one, um, the 3PO red, you could probably get a matching red one. And then I got a black one in a big Toyota box right here. I have already opened it. Look at this thing. So freaking gorgeous. I love it. Um, OEM, authentic Toyota part. Cannot wait. I got a lot of other goodies on the car. On the, I'm using my Lotus as a workbench. But I got a lot of other goodies for the Tundra. I'm so excited. So what I'm gonna be doing is showing you guys how to install this, the parts that you need for it, because um, you do need special parts for it. And then that has a chrome Toyota hat badge, Toyota OEM hat. Speaking of hats, swing by mysteryray.com and grab one of my hats. They're amazing. Uh, snapbacks, thank you guys for everyone that's ordered them. I hope you're enjoying them. Uh, but we're gonna be painting that Toyota emblem black so that I have a blackout Tundra. So first and foremost, um, let's, uh, I unboxed the box already. I wanted to see what it looked like. I got, I got too excited. Inside the box, you'll get um, an OEM, one of these right here, genuine OEM parts. It comes like this. This is what it looks like. That's the total front Rock, rock Warrior grill. OEM paint, it's painted. Um, and then black plastic, and then the black little plastic, or the chrome little plastic emblem. In addition to that, you're gonna need some caffeine because it's gonna be a big job. It won't be hard, but it'll be a big one. It did come with this as well, which this is probably the trim piece that will sit right in there. I don't wanna buckle it in yet until we're done, but that'll sit right up there and that'll make it look amazing. That'll look good. So that came with it all together. And then separately, this is $100, $120, $130. I had to buy these brackets. I have a 2000 Tundra, 2007 Tundra, and I'm gonna be putting um, I think this is 2010 plus, um, and you need to have these brackets right here. So radiator grill bracket, um, and then you also need, I got the OEM parts. These are available online. I'll have a link for where you can get this. Bolt and washer, and then also these little plastic clips. So I haven't done this yet. This is going to be new to me, new to you, and I'll show you guys how to do it. Um, let's go ahead and grab the Tundra and put it in the driveway. Let's go grab the Tundra. This is gonna be a great day to do. do <laughs> I can't even talk. This is gonna be a great day to do this. It's a nice, um, sunny day, so we got some sun out there. Um, that being said, here is what the chrome one looks like. So this is the factory 2007 Tundra, just normal base model uh, SR5. Uh, I have an SR5. We're gonna be removing this. This is what we're gonna be taking off. Now mine does have this funky little um, windshield uh, guard, which I might remove today. Um, just so I can get a more mean look. Now, once we get this done, we are with the rock wire, we are gonna be installing new headlights, but I don't have them yet, I gotta order them. I'll be doing the Alpha Rex with the black ones that have the real modern um, TRD look, the TRD Pro. I'm trying to make this look like a TRD Pro truck. So first things first, what we're gonna do is pop open the hood, or the, the yeah, the hood. Let's go ahead and pop open the hood. Okay, open up your truck. Mine's so dirty in here, I promise I'll clean it. Pull this, I already did it, pull that. It'll pop the hood, come around here. The latch, you just kind of lift it up a little bit like that, and then the latch is right here. So you can feel it's kind of towards the right, and then you go up, and the whole thing has hood struts. So the whole thing will come up by itself. Now look at that. That is a good looking engine bay. Big old V8, baby. It's good, it looks good, looks good. Okay, so um, what we're gonna be doing again is we're gonna be removing this guy. So what I'm gonna do is start off so I'm just looking here, you guys can see, again, it's gonna be a million 10, mil, 10 millimeters. So 10 millimeter, 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 but a bunch of them. So we'll start by doing those. Um, and then you are gonna to wanna to remove, this is an interesting little mechanism, but this right here is what connects, see this? This is what, how you open up the hood latch. So the hood latch is actually not down here on the lower part of the grill. The hood latch is actually right here. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So, um, and that makes sense. All that makes sense. And the new truck has this little mechanism here, or the new uh, latch. So let's go ahead and start getting, I got a um, 10 millimeter, 
and we're gonna start moving all those. Okay, so I got you guys set up on a tripod. You guys can see up here. And now I'm just gonna use um, my drill and just start breaking these 10 millimeters loose. And I might have to get a, a stronger impact. Let me do that real quick. Okay, since the brackets are different, if you have a 2000, I think it's 2010 and later, to, to before they do the 2.5 versions, then you don't have to get these new brackets. But these ones you do need to get the new brackets, okay? So um, I loosened up all these. Now before I removed um, the actual thing, because I'm not gonna be taking all in these individual ones off because I think I'm just gonna be taking these brackets, disregarding these brackets with the OEM, with the OEM grill. And so then that being said, I don't need to separate those. So I did loosen all those up. I will buzz them all off. And then the last thing is, um, before I do that, I actually took this off right here, which is going to be the hood latch. And the hood latch sits like this. So it comes up and sits like this. Two 10 millimeter bolts that thread on like that. Undid both the 10 millimeters, set them there, let this thing hang. Because I think this is separate and you don't need to do that one. So, because the new one will just come up over here and it'll sit like that. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so the... Uh the latches won't want to come off, so I think I'm just going to pull. I did all of these screws for the uh, front grill, so it should just probably wiggle off now. So the grill wasn't wanting to come off, so I was thinking there's probably something behind there. There is something here behind here. So there are a couple 10 millimeters. So I'm going to use this little pry tool here and pop this thing off. Um, be careful if you don't want to damage it, because you might want to resell this. Um, so just be careful as you pop this off. It should come off though. So just like that. Yeah, so I, um, I didn't know that, but there's 10 millimeters underneath here. So let's buzz all these off. Okay, now that I have all those five off, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I should be able to, to, to pull on it. Let's see if it'll just yank off now. I would assume. There is this, uh, this little wind visor. I think it's giving me a little bit of tr trouble. It should come off. Yeah, this little wind visor is giving me some trouble. So I might pull this wind visor off. Yeah, there we go. So I got it just like that. So it was those five bolts on the top here that I need. They're screw bolts. Those are the five that you had to do. So make sure that you do these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, and the way that you do that, you just take a pry tool or be careful with the flathead screwdriver and pop that off. You need a little plastic pry tool. They're, they're good to have. Toyota uses a lot of plastic stuff. Okay, that's gnarly. So I ended up popping off the wind guard. I didn't like it. This is gonna be a nightmare to clean, um, but I am gonna clean it. Uh, we'll see how well I can get done. I didn't like the look of it. I might have to get this, um, this one kind of has a mark right here, so I might have to get that touched up. Um, but let's go ahead. I didn't like that. I didn't, I didn't think that looked good. Let's pull all these off. Okay, brackets removed, so no more brackets, a 10 millimeter, and then there's a little plastic clip that just pops out on the back of that. I remove the, I don't know what you call that, the windshield guard. Boy, that thing was ugly. This is gnarly. I'm gonna have to really scrub that. Um, now, all the all the OEM stuff is removed. We don't need that anymore. Um, I probably won't sell any of this stuff. I'll probably just trash it. If someone wants it, maybe I'll hold it for a little bit. Um, but let's go ahead and pull these little guys off. They're just taped on. So just use your muscle strength to pull those three tabs off. Okay, I, uh, I scrubbed it down pretty good. This is a step that you may or may not need to do. Um, if you have one, I definitely recommend removing. They're, they're not a very good look in my opinion. So I did scrub it. Um, I am gonna have to go over it more with some remover to make sure I get all that junk because there's some still tape marks here and then this is gonna scrub all that off. So I'll do that. Um, I'll do that before the end of the video so we get a nice uh, product, but let me go ahead and start doing the actual grill part. All right, we've moved back into the garage. So um, we don't want the Toyota OEM hat to be, we flipped this over, we don't want it to be chrome. So you're gonna come back on the back here and you're just gonna push on these, push, 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 and the, the emblem will pop out and then we'll start the painting process. Let's go paint that, that'll be our next step. Here's the emblem, here's some P3000, very fine, very, very fine sandpaper. Let's scuff it up so that when you paint it, the paint actually sticks. Let's do that now. Okay, so like with all rattle can paint, do a lot of layers. So I just did one. Be extremely light. Take your time with it. Otherwise, you're not going to get a good result. So um, again, I hit it one time. We're going to wait about 10 minutes. I'll come back and hit it another time. Uh, I did scuff it up. I did not primer it. Sometimes I primer them, but I didn't primer them. Um, 
So we'll do one really light one, and then we'll continue to do this because we want a nice black front emblem. You can't really delete the emblem on the Tundra, but it'll be nice to have a black one. Now while we're doing this um, and uh, letting the paint dry, um, I'll show you one more time before I finish it, before you install it, and then um, we'll go do the brackets. Back to the garage. Here are the brackets. Radiator grill part number. Toyota. We're going to pull that sticker off, but Toyota part number. You need these two. Left, right. Um, these are different. These are upgraded. They are a different than the 2000 version. So we need these. And then again, we're going to need these bolts here. This is, I'm assuming, is going to be the push clips on the front of the, the nose for that new, um, that new little top grill part. So let's pull the sticker off these and go over to the truck. This bracket, this is a bracket that holds it in place, is going to go on this side. You'll be able to see how they fit. There's a lot of connecting parts for it. So you'll see how that clicks in, this clicks in. You're gonna have to reuse some of your nuts. So be, be, you know, don't get rid of all your nuts. I kept all mine right here. But then also you're gonna get, have to use the new um, part kit right there. So we'll go ahead and slide this guy in, pop it in and use a um, nut to hold it in spot. That bracket was for the uh, passenger side. So um, I did some quick math here. So I did reuse that nut. Um, there is a bolt that needs to go right here. Um, this is a packet of 10, quantity 10, right there. Um, these are going to just be replacing the, uh, um, the wall, it's backwards. So instead of having um, a stud, it's going to be a bolt with, you know, because the OEM one, the, the previous is going to be a nut. So there's nine of these because I used one of them. So we're going to keep one of these and then I got 10 of these so I can use these now. I'm going to start using these to replace the um, washer. So we'll use two of these. YouTube, there is not much sexier than brand new OEM Toyota bolts. <laughs> Sexy. Okay, that looks good. So these two brackets are on. They're sturdy. Um, now what we're going to do is pull these off because the new ones, so the old ones, the old one you had bolts that went into it. The new ones you do not have bolts. You don't have those. Um, the screw bolts, the new ones, you don't have screw bolts. They just, it just push plastic push pins that clip in. And to do that, you need to have the little yellow guys so these little yellow guys will just push in there so let's pull the other ones out and push those in very very simple you guys can do this i know you can okay we're back on the truck um we're now installing these little clips here uh, i've washed the truck like three or four times just keep on scrubbing it because it's really really dirty uh and what you're gonna do is just put these in here and just push like that there's one you're gonna do five of these it's very simple hey guys i appreciate it. if you're watching the truck build thank you thank you for watching my truck build i hope you guys I hope you guys enjoy this let's put the next one in We'll just do all five of these so that when we come out with the um, finished grill, it's able to just pop these in. Now there is a little dot on them if you want to get them all perfect symmetrical. There's a little dot on the bottom of it. You can put that on the bottom or on the top and then have them all the same. But all five of them, and I'm pretty sure these are OEM. I'm not sure. There's no OEM part number, but I'm pretty sure they are. So push that on and it'll be good. Just like that. Um, and you might want to hold the hood latch. It'll latch by itself when you're down like this. It makes your work easier. So if you need to do that, you can do that. Um, we can now discard this. Now that you have your bracket secured on both sides, in addition to that, you're going to have all your little yellow guys secured in there. You're now ready to go get your new Rock Warrior grill. Let's go get it. Um, again, I don't have the badge put on it yet, but let's go get the Rock Warrior grill. And we're going to just set it on to start uh, buttoning it up. Okay, we now have the Rock Warrior grill. It looks amazing. It matches the same paint color. So good. Um, let's go ahead and pull. See if we can pull the, la the hood down a little bit. We'll see if we can latch it to make our job a little bit easier. And then now, it's going to be simple. You're just going to want to push this in here. Line it up and push it on. Find the holes. Be loving. Be gentle with it. It's your new toy. But it'll button up real easy and nice. Just like that. Lean into it, love it, massage it, and then just kind of, there you go, push into it, okay, let's make sure I got everything aligned, okay, I think it's uh, unhappy because the latch, so let's go ahead and pull it back up real quick, and we'll get this side latched. Okay, now that you got the TRD kind of, it's just kind of resting in there, you're going to want to start. Um, by going back over to those brackets that you had, use your new supply 10 millimeter bolts and just slide them in there and then just kind of finger tight them. Do all, I think there's 10 of them, eight or 10, do all of them first before you tighten it down so that you get a nice even seal, okay? So this pack did come with 10 bolts. Don't 
don't use them like I did, you're going to want to use all 10 of them for the Rock Warrior grill. I, I'm going to have to use the other ones that are kind of a little bit more rusty for those ones. Um, I'll polish them up real quick because you're going to need all 10 of them for the Rock Warrior grill. That's why they give you 10. So make sure that you use all 10 for those. The two um, that were for the back side of this guy, um, make sure to use the, the ones that were already with the truck. Okay, so I got all of the 10 millimeters on. 10 millimeters, 10 of them. Make sure to use the matching ones. I'm, I'm mad that I did that to myself. Um, good thing I had uh, other ones, from one from this project and two from other Toyotas I have. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this guy right here, the uh, thing, and you're gonna, uh, the thing, the latch hook, and you're gonna mate it to the new one right here with the two 10 millimeter bolts that you had from uh, the OEM part. All right, moment of truth. Now that you got these two 10 millimeters here and here on this little latch bracket, um, and I'm not, I want you to make sure you have it right. I might not sure, I'm not sure if I have mine right or not. Um, it should come down and it should close. Let's see. And then, yeah, so let's see if that works. It does, but it's it's up there. That one's up there. So let's see if I can adjust that a little bit because it seems hard to to reach. Maybe, maybe it's supposed to be that way, to be honest. I think it is. So instead of uh, coming down below, hold on, let me grab you guys real quick. For the car or the truck and let's see. So if you come in here, the new latch is now right there. See that? It used to be down here when you pop it, but that's how you do it. Now, it should be locked because it's locked with the, uh, the, hood, the hood latch. So let's come over here, make sure that this works. This is gonna look amazing, pop. So that's the safety, you know, the safety if you're bombing down the highway. It pops it, releases it. Now you're gonna come right here, instead of down here, you're gonna come in the middle, pull it, and then up. Yep, ta-da! Dang, okay, so we're done with the install. So just a bunch of 10 millimeters. I use nothing but 10 millimeters. Um, let's go check on the Toyota badge and wrap this video up. Now, um, one last thing that we're gonna do, right, we're gonna pop in the uh, grill right here. And it's just pushed in right here, so we'll just push it in the nose. Oh my gosh, dude, that looks amazing. I almost wanna leave it, the Toyota badge off. So we're drying the paint, uh, or drying the paint, drying the paint, yeah, we are drying the paint on the Toyota badge. Um, I'm really, really disappointed that the previous owner put that thing over here. Um, it's gonna be a pain to get rid of all this junk, but I'll do it on a nice warm summer day. Um, but I'll do an amazing edit. I might just try to scrape all this off with my fingernail. Um, and then you can get these little things that spin and take it off, but I wish I, I wish that wasn't on there. <laughs> um, I'll get them, I'll, I'll do my best to get it removed for the, the intro of the video, but dang, walk warrior grill for the win. Just wait till I get the Alpha Rex headlights. This truck is gonna look amazing, so aggressive. All right, let's close the hood all the way. Um, so let's see if we can just do this and um, I'm gonna get, again, pull it up right here. Is that all the way? Oh yeah, that's all the way. So now it's closed all the way. Um, let's do this second piece to resist once, the second less. So this one's just gonna clip in here, real simple. Um, it might be upside down though. Oh no, it, it does go like this. So um, this will be simple, we'll just clip this one in, just like that, push it in. This is, this is really satisfying. <laughs> oh yeah, let's do one more clip. Oh yeah, super satisfying. That looks really good too. There we go. Bam. Oh man. Oh, that truck looks beefy. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. What an amazing mod. That looks so good. OEM paint, OEM paint. As soon as we get the new headlights, the Alpha Rex ones, it's, the truck is gonna look amazing. The front end look, already looks way more aggressive. So no more chrome. We deleted the chrome besides the headlights. Um, the badge is almost being done painted. It's one more coat. And then I do just gotta scrape off that little stuff on the hood, but oh my gosh, the truck looks amazing. Let's put the, uh, let's go do an intro and then we'll the last part of the video, um, we'll do the putting on the Toyota uh, badge. Okay, this car, this truck, I keep on saying car because I like cars, looks freaking brand new. That is amazing. That looks so much more modern. So much more modern. Okay, so we just drove to my favorite spot. I did wash the car. It looks really, really good. I did get those stickers off. The stickers are off. It was a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. Um, what I did was just use a little bit of car Goo Gone and WD-40 and then um, just scratch it off with this little plastic tool thing that's meant for it. So, um, why we have finished this, I have the OEM hat that I'm gonna install now. Okay, so uh, here is the Rock Warrior. 
I painted this emblem right here. I think I did a pretty good job. I'm getting really good at painting stuff now. Um, I've just been doing it for so long, but I think that looks really good. Um, I did five coats with it in total. Um, after I just sanded it a little bit, now it's good. Now I would recommend clear coating because this is gonna get rock chips and I didn't. Um, so I might have to uh, clear coat this, pull it back off. All we're gonna do is just push it in. So um, it's gonna go down at the lower part, hook in there, and then um, just push these guys and bend them down a little bit and push on in, give it a little bit of lug, and it'll go right in. Just like that and like that. Perfect. Awesome. Look at that. So now I have a completely blacked out front of the car besides the headlights. I definitely need the Alpha Rex headlights. You're like, Mitch. I'm new to your channel, I like the Tundra, or if you've just been here a long time. Uh, this isn't easy to do. Um, 10 uh, Phillips, head, or 10, uh, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 meter, 10 millimeter uh, bolts. Um, pull those off, uh, yank off the, the hood, um, undo the little thing, put it back on just the way it was. It's really, really simple. You can do this, it's an OEM part. Um, I'll have the link below for the two things. You do need this kit. Um, you can't just buy the grill, the Rock Warrior grill. You need the, you need the kit. Um, it doesn't mate up to the other one. The Toyota revised it in the years. They do this a lot on cars, so just be aware. Um, but man, what an amazing setup. All OEM, looks really good. I love that I painted that black. That looks good. So next, um, we're probably gonna be deleting, oh no, next we're gonna be doing the um, new TRD 18 inch wheels. I'll be installing those next video with some black lug nuts. Um, and then following that, I'll pair the, uh, the mirror, show you guys how to do the tow mirrors on the Tundra. Then I'll do the Alpha Rex headlights. I still need to install the TRD floor mat, show you guys those. I want a new antenna. Uh, I want a TRD intake. I want a exhaust. I got a ton of stuff I want to do. Um, I want a head unit, but the truck is really, really coming together already. Um, uh, comment down below, what kind, of, what kind of side rails do you guys think I should get? The step up ones, I think I should do the step up ones. Anyways, make sure to like, subscribe. I hope this was helpful. This is just an amazing turnout. Hope you guys like the thumbnail. Hope you guys like the video. Swing by as always. Grab a TRD badge, grab a hat, and I'll see you guys on the next video.